Hello guys. Um, it's Sunday the 22nd of March. Sorry, I apologise. Saturday 22nd of March. And uh, it's been one of those days where the weather has not had an idea what it's doing. It's rained, it's snowed, it's sleeted, it's been bright, uh, really windy, you name it, you know, it's been here. Um, I came up and done a couple of jobs yesterday. Um, it was my birthday and uh, I spent most of the day up here. Uh, we put in a new Blackberry bed, which I'll show you in a moment. Um, but before I go any further, um, I just want to sort of have a chat with you about something. Um, I just want to say uh, one thing to Tina, my partner. Um, she's good as gold and, you know, I put a lot of hours in up here. Um, 12, 14 hour days sometimes. And I've been off for the last week. Sorry, the last 12 days. And in those 12 days I've spent one day with Tina. The rest of the time has been up here trying to prep this place and, and everything else and get the work done. Um, I love her to bits. She's good as gold. You know, uh, she will come up with the kids and things, and she'll watch the kids at home when, uh, you know, if I'm up here and what have you. And she deserves a medal for everything she does. Um, so I just want to say, if you're watching, baby, I love you, um, and thanks for supporting me when I'm doing this. Anyway back to the uh, episode um, my granddad he uh, he's uh, lived with my mum now for the last three years and uh, because of that his house has been empty and what have you so I decided that I was going to dig up a small pear tree he had in his garden um, we took a root ball um, and we brought the pear tree up here and we put it in the chicken pots along with um, you know, along with uh, the apple, cherry and the plum. As you can see, it started raining yet again. Um, so I'm going to take you around, um, just show you a few bits and bobs that we've done. Um, it's not a huge amount, but it, it, there was a lot of work to achieve it. So um, I'll take you around now, guys. So the other day, um, I popped into Aldi's just uh, to pick up some um, tags uh, for, you know, sort of plant tags for marking up seeds and things. And while I was in there, I came across three of these, and they're blackberry canes. Now, um, I don't know if you can see the other two, one in the middle and one down on the end there. Now, um, I'd already spoken to Tina saying that I wanted to do some blackberries. And they're really good, you know, really easy to sort of propagate and things like that. So I bought three of them at two ninety nine each, a bargain. And it's like anything else, they, you know, they come as like a twig, like most things these days. Um, but there was a few roots on them, so uh, we plant them. And you know what bramble is like, it'll, it'll go nuts eventually. What we did, um, I'm just going to move you back. There's the onion bed we created. A little while back where the beans were last year along that path there and if you remember then we had like a little path and then we had the peas and what have you so we created a big bed there and we moved the path um i've decided to put in this bed here so we've built this big bed along here and we've got these two uprights with cross members on one there and one there and what will happen is they got a couple of holes drilled in the ends of them and we'll run four strings of wire around there and then all the canes can be tied up uh, to those which will keep them within that box shape there the rest of it obviously is still a mess we've got to deal with that and, uh, and we need to deal with it quite you know quite soon um the garlic and things here um, uh, some sort of feed because they've gone a bit yellow and we've also put a bit of nitrogen in the ground as a form of sulfate so um so hopefully that'll sort that out you'll have to excuse the banging going on in the background okay something that uh, we hadn't noticed when we were dealing with all of this area and making all the new beds and things here um 
we put this path in it, it was only down temporary um, I haven't even cut that stone out yet but we've just noticed here that there's another rhubarb coming up underneath it so we can take that up um, so that's five pounds of rhubarb we'll have then um, everything's starting to uh, to sprout as you can see so uh, it's all good okay it looks like I'm gonna have to uh, speed up here guys because it's absolutely hammering down Right, so we're coming up alongside the pond here, and lo and behold, I noticed today, I'll come this side, that we must have had frogs here, because all the spawn we had hatched, and now we've got a ton load more spawn right along there. So, uh, so we must have some frogs in the bottom of it, which is good. Um, this is what I wanted to show you guys. Um, this area here um, was like that up there. I'm going to take you up a bit closer now so you can have a look at it. But I dug it all out. I rebuilt uh, an old stone wall along the back to tidy it up. And at the moment, I'm in the process of moving up some manure, which I'm just going to move from in front of the shed at the moment just to um, just to get out of my way. Eventually, the idea for here is to have all compost bins, manure bins, leaf mold bins, things like that. Um, so I'm just levelling it off at the moment. I've still got down that area there to dig, but in a moment I'm going to show you the amount of roots. I'm going to come back just to give you the idea of the space that we've used, that we've dug. So that's what we've dug there, okay? And I'm going to give you an idea of the roots that we've had taken out of it. Now all this was covered in this sort of bramble and stuff. This, this plot here now is Phil's next door. Uh, and as you can see there's saws been thrown over and seats and all sorts and this just gets full of all bramble, fern, stuff. It go all the way up so I dug it all away and we've we, you know we're left then with with a decent space so what I'm gonna do now I'm gonna take it down the bottom and I'll show you There's the manure we're moving at the moment from in front of the shed. But have a look at this for a moment, the roots, guys. There's no soil in there. It's just all fern root, bramble, uh, stingy nettles, dock, dandelion, and all the rubbish and stuff that came from there as well. But if I lift some of this up, just to give you some sort of idea, of what I've been dealing with. It was backbreaking work and took two and a half days to dig. So uh, it's getting there. The uh, pear tree is there in the chicken plot. So uh, that's it. Now all I've got to do is stake it. But it's starting to bud. It was a bit late to move it really, but I took a big enough root ball that I think we can get away with it. Now, I've had a few comments about doing um, a chicken update. Um, and I'll get around to that in the next day or two, okay, guys? Um, just obviously at the moment, the weather's a bit bad and, and everything else. And the plot's looking a bit of a mess. I need to get in there and tidy it up a bit where, you know, wind has blown over feeders and drinkers and and what have you. But um, but they're all doing really good. And uh, we also got that pond build, com build coming up as well shortly for the, for the ducks. Um, also... One thing I'll show you as well, in that pointy shed, uh, you know, the 45 degree slanted roof, we have a hen sat on, on a load of eggs in there. Um, she was originally in this brown shed and, and we, she was uh, sat on eggs that we didn't realise. We'd come up one day and she was sat on them so we decided to leave her there. Um, but what we did today is move her into that shed and pen her off from the others because they were all giving her a bit of grief. And, in the nights when they were roosting and what have you, they were all above her and, you know, it's not nice for her. So we've decided to see what hatches out there. Now there's some duck and chicken eggs under her, so we're going to leave it and see what happens. Um, but anyway, there'll be more about that later on as time goes. So really, guys, at the moment, that's about it. There's, you know, there's new growth on the, on the plot. It's still a mess, as you can see. It's still a mess, mainly because... Um, you know, I'm, I'm working, I'm doing 
stuff on the plot and I'm not worried about moving things. One thing I have done, I've gone around the path and I've dug out all the um, all of the uh, dock and stuff like that. Um, this stuff, guys, is absolute nightmare. If you don't get the whole route, I mean, look at this thing. If you don't get all of that route out of that, you're in trouble. And that's just going to keep coming back time and time and time again. Same thing with these dandelions. You know, they're massive things. You know, so I've gone around today. Look at that. Gone around today and dug them out. And we'll deal with everything else as it comes. Um, so the next video that you'll see on the plot, guys, the plot might look a little tidier because I will be tidying it up shortly um, so I can get the beds prepared. Like I said, they've all been dug already and they've got um, manure on the top of them, uh, but we now need to turn that in. Um, and we need to get this bed here um, and that bed down there ready so that we can get our spuds in there because that's where they're going this year. Um, so I've got to get back to it. Um, I've got to move our manure to the back, which will clear up some space around the front of the shed there for me, so that I can uh, I can actually move and get in and out of my shed without breaking my back. Well, we have a clean area there now, and I can actually get into my shed without having to uh, squeeze through the door. And up here. We have moved that pile of manure, as you can see. That's about, so I don't know, chest height maybe, just a little bit under. Uh, it's a fair old mound of manure. Now this isn't this year's manure, guys. This is for next year. So uh, it'll get covered over now, and it'll be left here to rot. Um, when I've got a bit more time, I will mound it a bit more. Or oh, I'll build um, a nice big bin here for it. And uh, we'll shovel it all in there, and then the compost bins can go up on the end. Um, so, uh, but for now, it's out of the way. I'll cover it over, and uh, I can get on with just working around the rest of the plot. Um, I ain't gonna worry about it. Anyway, I will see you shortly and uh, hope you have a great day. Bye guys.